It was hot and dusty in Delhi, India, and August and September had brought sobering news of escalating anti-Christian violence. But into this uncertain context came 106 peacemaking students from India, Nepal, North America, and Europe. They had gathered for two weeks of mission training sponsored by Easter Mennonite Missions and hosted by India's Fellowship of Christian Assemblies, a partner organization. The training event, called World Missions Institute, was September 15th through the 29th. It offered students the chance to train for cross-cultural missions and to learn about Anabaptist history and theology. Cal Tobin is an Eastern Mennonite missions worker who facilitated the event along with her husband, Skip. She said that many of the students had not heard Anabaptist history and theology before, but they identified deeply with the 16th century radicals who were no strangers to suffering. India is going through an unusual time of anti-Christian violence. Hindu militants began raiding Christian villages in the province of Orissa in mid-August. Since then, more than a hundred pastors and other Christians have been killed by Hindu mobs. During the World Missions Institute in Delhi, a mob of radical Hindu militants had stormed into a village in northern India. The mob threatened a group of 16 new believers, demanding that they reconvert to Hinduism. One of the World Missions Institute students, Simon Philip, was preparing to baptize those 16 believers the following week. But fearing for their lives and under severe communal pressure, they had agreed to turn back. They burned their Bibles and went through Hindu initiation rites. Simon was heartbroken when he got the news, but he said, I believe God is using this persecution to grow the church. Even now, in the midst of this trouble, new families keep showing up at our services. Another World Missions Institute participant, M.P. James has worked in India's Punjab region for 17 years. As part of a course David Shank taught on world religions, James visited the largest mosque in Delhi. Afterwards, James said, There are many Muslims in Punjab. I never considered reaching out to them before, but now maybe I will. God is preparing all peoples, and we mustn't overlook Muslims because we're afraid of them. The institute in India was loosely modeled on a three-week World Missions Institute that Eastern Mennonite Missions holds as a prerequisite for long-term workers. In the last few years, global mission partners have asked Eastern Mennonite Missions to reproduce this training in other locations, including Indonesia, Honduras, Kenya, and now India. Glenn Kaufman, EMM's representative to Asia, said, World Missions Institute gives our key international mission partners an opportunity to learn more deeply about who we are. Then they can adapt what we share and teach according to who God is calling them to be in world missions. These events, which train local leaders for cross-cultural ministry, are yet another way that Easter Mennonite Missions is, together with Christ, transforming the world.